I just think you, you've got to work out what suits you. Up to this point, I think Liverpool have, have gone and got players that aren't the finished product and that's got them to the top of the mountain. Is that way going to continue? I mean, at the moment, it doesn't look like it's continuing in, in, in that vein. But there's different ways to skin a cat. You look at, for instance, the way that uh, Man City do it. They go and buy the best in, in, in different positions. Haaland for this summer, for instance. But you look at Real Madrid, who've, who've, who've beat them today. Real Madrid used to be Galactico buyers. That changed now, and their models changed to buying the best young players who they can afford to wait, wait for. But they have a team that is still churning out wins and consistency and Champions Leagues during that period still. Liverpool haven't been afforded that consistency while still buying players to come in and try, and try and make them better over time in the future. And that's been the problem because maybe some of the players, I've seen tweets and I've seen comments that maybe the manager's been a bit too loyal to certain players maybe you who are ageing. I, I don't know. I, I always like to have players in my squad. Like, and people are talking about... It's not dif difficult to say that, that these people are talking about, like Milner and Henderson. Those two players have been fabulous servants of this football club. And I, I believe when you've given a club the amount of time and the blood, sweat and tears that they have in a successful period as well, they deserve grace and they deserve time to be there. Because they're just, for them type of players, it's not just about performance. It's about culture, standards on a daily basis in the training ground. And those two are big drivers of that. We'll never be able to prove it because if, if Liverpool go and spend you know, hundreds of millions, not that they've got that money, but if they spend hundreds of millions and go and buy six, seven, eight players, I'm sure everybody would love it. And we'll never be able to prove it one way or the other. But Chelsea have just done that. You know, what's happening with mm. Chelsea? Liverpool's strength is what they've got. Is that... that Community, you know, that, that group of players that are, like, would do anything and they've been to the trenches together and they've won together and, they, you know, and they'll fight out of it. I mean, that's their strength. That takes years of building, Jake. Why would you then... Why does everyone say, oh, let's have a refresh and sell him and he's not playing well and get rid of this, that and the other? This is what you've built years for. Now you want to sell it when, you, when you're absolutely... I'm in the last six years, have been at your absolute peak. I'm 